What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Hope and today's video is going to be about the Youngblood shows that I went to recently. Um, if you guys don't know who Youngblood is, you definitely should. Uh, he makes music that actually matters and isn't just like super sappy love songs and everything and like I don't know he's amazing and he's super super sweet just wanted to tell you guys about my experience because i had two of the best days of my life at these concerts so i wanted to share it with you guys um this is part of the reason why i have been mia for a little bit um i've been working non-stop and then any day that i haven't been working i've been at a show recently uh so i've been a little bit busy but i am back i'm going to try staying on my upload schedule again but yeah let's jump right on into it so the first show that i went to well the very first show that i ever saw him at was on his birthday in columbus but nothing too like crazy or anything happened at that show i met two really good friends joel's and des whenever i was there became really close with them still talked to them and everything um but that was like nothing insane happened there or anything but it was an amazing absolutely amazing show but then i saw him on his tour in cincinnati slash kentucky covington kentucky because it was right on the border but we me and Alyssa went and we got there at like 6 a.m and then des was there so she ubered over and we all were hanging out in my car uh, nothing happened. We were all literally so tired. We were just sitting in there talking for most of the time. And then these two girls walk up. So we instantly jump out of the car. Anytime we saw someone walking up, we hurried up and got out. So then like they would know that we were first in line. So these two girls walk up, we jump out of our car, we sit where the line was going to start. And then they sat on the other side of the door, like trying to make another line. So like, it was fine. I get in my car. And then they moved over to the line, but they sat in front of where we were sitting. So like they thought that they were first. So I opened up the door so fast in my car because I had gone in my car to do my makeup. I opened up the door to the car so fast and I was like, you guys can get behind us. Like we were here first. I have proof that we were here since 6 a.m. Like that's that. So I automatically thought that they were just going to think we were the biggest bitches ever. And like we were so rude and everything. Well, I get out of the car and everyone is best friends. <laughs> uh, their names were Nat and Caroline and they are two of the sweetest girls that I've ever met in my life. We all instantly clicked. They knew who Sam and Colby and all of them were. Like they're super into YouTube and everything too. So we kind of all instantly became best friends and like I don't think I've ever had so much fun sitting outside waiting for a concert. Like, that day was absolutely insane. Um, so then we just sat outside. I ordered us pizza at some point. We were just having a good time. And then whenever it got closer to the show, it was probably, I want to say, like, 20 or 30 minutes before the doors were getting ready to open. I decided to open up my car doors because my car was parked right in front of the venue. So I opened up my car doors and I started blaring Youngblood's music. So we were all kind of jumping and dancing around and everything. And then Spencer, uh, Dom's photographer, came out, started recording us and everything. And it was just, it was a great time. 20 reliability. I'm a 20 like you're I will never be able to fully tell the story of how and why this happened so I'm gonna try my best to do so but we got Dom a bright pink dildo now let me tell you the story behind it before you start like going off um earlier on in the day Caroline's mom was texting her joking around being like don't be a sl she her exact words don't be a slut puppy with the band members so now our group chat is called slut puppies but and then they like the conversation escalated and at some point Caroline's mom 
sent her a gif of a dancing pink dildo. So it kind of escalated from there. We decided to ask our one friend who was coming later to pick up a pink dodo. So she did. So she brought that and then with Sharpies, we all wrote our Twitter ads on it. And at the end of the show, we put it on Dom's wheelchair and then Spencer grabbed it and took it. And now anytime you see them posting, like I know Adam is posted in a bunch. Mikey has posted a couple things. But if you see the pink dodo, that was me and my friends who did that. But anyway, so... It's getting closer to the show and the security comes out and they let this girl in with her friends because she was on crutches. So they let her go and sit in the lobby area. So I instantly asked, I was like, are we still going to get like first access to the stage? Because we have been here since 6 a.m. They got here at like 12 and security assured us that we would get like let in before them. Like they would hold them back, let us go and then they would let them go. Well, right as doors opened, like literally right as they opened the doors and started letting us in, the girl on crutches and her friends booked it to the stage. So they took up two of the spots in the front row and you could only fit like five or six people in the front row because it was such a small venue. So my friends start kind of going back and forth with them. Screaming starts happening. My friend went and got security. Security came over and made the girls move. My friends got their spots on the front row. And that was that. We weren't screaming at the girl because she was on crutches. That was not the case. Because I know that that's a rumor that was started. That was not the case at all. We were mad because she thought it'd be okay to try cutting us whenever she was well aware that we were there at 6 a.m. All of her friends and her were well aware that we got there at 6 a.m. And they still thought that it would be okay to cut us. So, like, it just wasn't a cool situation. But after that, the rest of the night was absolutely amazing. The show starts from Ian from Arrested Youth crowd surfs at every show. <laughs> then Youngblood comes out and he puts on one of the best shows ever like he is absolutely amazing an amazing performer like outstanding every single show so um because he actually has a broken ankle right now or broken foot whatever it may be he has a boot on and he walks in crutches he has a wheelchair on stage and everything so during the show, whenever he's standing up in the front, he needs someone to like hold him up every once in a while. So every single time he would need help, I would be the one holding him. Like I was holding his hand the whole entire time, holding him up. And it was so cute. It made me so happy. And then also during the beginning of the show, it was probably one of my favorite moments from any show that I've ever been to. Like it just made my heart melt. Uh, he like, we blocked eyes and then he like put his hand like this on my face and I put my hand like this and just kind of like, rested my head into his hand it was such a cute moment it made me so happy he's the sweetest little angel ever um and then at the end of his set we also sprayed him with silly string it was the cutest thing ever his reaction to it was so adorable <laughs> And then after the show, we got to talk to Spencer. We got to meet Arrested Youth. They are some of the sweetest, sweetest guys I've ever met. I keep in touch with them still because they're so, so nice. And they actually genuinely care about their fans. And, like, their music is absolutely amazing. They're great performers. Definitely check them out. But uh, when we went, walked up to meet Dom, 
We walk up and he goes, oh, it's the girls who were partying outside before the show. Fucking rock stars. All the girls were partying outside earlier. I like instantly wanted to like curl up in a ball and die, but it also made me really happy. I didn't know how to feel in that moment, but it was great. Got my pictures with him, got to hug him, got a kiss on the cheek. It was great. Everything was great. And then we left. We went home. Well, we had to say goodbye to Nat and Caroline and everyone, which was really sad. I hated that. But then we left. We went home. And then literally a week later, I had his show in Philly. So then I got to Philly at probably 7.30 a.m. Um, and it was pouring down rain. So I had a lawn chair and I just went and put it out and like in front of the door so that was like holding my spot kind of I guess you could say so then probably at around 8 8 30 two other girls walk up and I was at the Philly show by myself because it was 21 plus and none of my friends are 21 so I was there by myself so then I see them I was like I rolled down the window I was like if you guys want to come sit in my car you're more than welcome to like it's freezing and raining outside please feel free to come sit in here if you guys need. So they instantly came into the car and we all instantly became best friends once again. Their names were Tracy and Stephanie and they are two of the sweetest people I've ever met also. Um, so while we were waiting, nothing crazy happened or anything. We walked over to the store and we got Dom flowers for after the show because it was the last show of his tour. So we decided to get him pink flowers um, I'll tell you more about that later, but, um, we were all just hanging out and then Dom posted that he was close. So we got out of the car and everything, waited for them to get there. And then he shows up and right as he shows up, the van pulls up and then the door opens and he sticks his head out and goes, hello. And like the cutest voice, his accent is the cutest, but, uh, he walks up and I actually got this tattoo. This is my most recent tattoo and Dom actually drew it and if you know Youngblood uh his fans are the Black Hearts Club because he has two Black Heart tattoos that represent him and if you want to find more out about that go watch his interviews and stuff he talks about it all the time but um so yeah I got that and I got to show him that which was really awesome it made my day so I just got this on Wednesday hey that you, is sick man you actually drew that out I drew that yeah that is fucking at sick at your birthday show oh don't man yeah. rock and roll that's such a good really good heart <laughs> yeah you did really good rock and roll can you get a picture with of course can yeah that's good <laughs> got my pictures with him and then he went in and then I got to see Arrested Youth, got to talk to them, got Ian to FaceTime Caroline because it was her birthday. It was amazing. It was so cute. They're adorable. So doors finally opened. They were like 30 minutes late. The doors finally opened. We get to the stage. We're front and center once again. The show starts. Uh, Arrested Youth was absolutely amazing. Me and my friend were the only ones who knew the words to their songs in the front row. A couple other people did, but like Ian pointed us out after the show. Like he was like, you guys were killing it. Like it was amazing. Um, but at some point Aaron decided it'd be a good idea to literally push Ian. And of course Ian happened to be right in front of me. So I like saw my life flash before my eyes for a split second. Definitely thought I was about to be crushed. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, whenever Dom came out, he also fell on top of me. So, like, I was having a great night. Uh, but nothing too crazy happened during that show, except during the last song, during Die for the Hype, we all rushed the stage. So I got to be up on stage during the last song, which was one of the craziest and most fun experiences ever. It was so cool.
then after that, um, we went and we sat down. We got the flowers from my car. We went and we sat down and everything. And then we were all just hanging out. And then anyone who was younger than 21 at 11 o'clock was kicked out of the bar because it was a bar that's Pennsylvania state law that no one under 21 could be in there past 11. So they all got kicked out. So there was probably like maybe eight of us left in there. So we got to like hang out with everyone for a little bit. Um, we gave Dom the flowers and his reaction was the absolute cutest thing ever. It melted my heart. <laughs> And then uh, Dom eventually got a hold of Spencer's camera somehow. It was going around acting like paparazzi, sticking the camera in Ian's face. And then he came up to me and my two friends and put the camera in our face and was like, girls, 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 can I get your picture? Can I get your picture? He's the cutest little angel ever. But that was kind of the end of that. Um, he puts on some of the best like shows I have ever been to. His stage presence is unlike anyone I've ever seen he's just so good at what he does and his songs like I said it they're actually important they're about important things and like things that actually matter it's not just sappy love songs all the time and same with Arrested Youth their music is also music that matters it's actually super important stuff like absolutely amazing uh if you ever get the chance I definitely recommend seeing Youngblood now especially like soon because he is getting very big very fast which I'm so happy for him but at the same time it makes my heart hurt because I just want him to stay like a little secret but definitely go check him out he deserves all of the success so does Arrested Youth go check all of them out I'm going to leave links to their social media in the description below so please go follow them on everything um but yeah that was that that was two of the best days of my life and I just wanted to kind of share it with you guys and have this forever so I can look back on it. But thank you guys very much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a post. And also check out my merch in the description below. I might be releasing new designs soon. I'm not 100% sure, but go check that out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. A place I found in my head that I didn't know existed. And when I found it, it really fucking scared me, man. And the video came out a couple of days ago. I'm guessing some of you will see it, thank you. This song's called Kill Somebody. Today, you made me feel irrelevant. Twisting my intelligence. Way to see there's no brain in my head. I'm like a skeleton. I can't shut my eyes. Right now, I feel like I'm an alien. I'm so fucking dangerous. Cover up the evidence with medicine. I can't find the light All I want to do is kill somebody Kill somebody Kill somebody like you Like you All I want to do is kill somebody Kill somebody Kill somebody like you Like you Today you took me like a corkscrew, call me like a lawsuit, put words in my mouth that I don't want you to, and I lost my cloud. My time is acting as my quarry, so you can't take that away from me, shoot me on with no accountability, shoot me down. Right? Right, right now, now I feel like an alien. alien.
Like I'm sitting in a state of perpetual frustration. Don't shut me again, again. fuck with my head, leave me for dead. Please? And yeah, yeah. You, you may think, think you may think this is a metaphor. Something you never heard before, you know, I found on the floor and it's unconsciously been to the door. But then, then you motherfuckers could cross the mountain and still won't believe what you're for. All I want to do is kill somebody, kill somebody, kill somebody like you, like you. Fucking community, and no one can fucking touch us! Woo!